collision between Frankie Signs and Bruce Lee. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the official introductions, the Ladies veteran and voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. The UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Frankie Sai! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length, give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. They're certainly getting after it early. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the point. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take it down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect him. Beautiful punch. Look at the angle of that nice body. Just missed with the left there. Big head kick. Again, they will clinch. Big kick. Leg kick. Blocks the shot. Nice. Just misses there with the left. 
Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Real quick leg kick. And he caught the kick. Battle for position here. attempt just misses. Nice leg kick. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice one-two combination there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's gonna shut your oh. body off. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Close. starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take it. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh! Back to the feet now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Over and over, he's landing these big bodies. Oh! He's out! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. Even spread that over the UK and then 